Hey, it's Chris Duncan here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the Simple Life Plan, the easiest way to structure your life for the best success. For me, this is such an important principle. And we'll start out with the biggest uh, picture that we can. So the very first thing to acknowledge is we are a spiritual, creative being, a creative energy, and we're here for roughly 100 years to experience this body. I think it's a very important truth to realize, you know, like as far as I can tell, that's what we know for sure, that we have roughly 100 years to experience this body. There is some sort of higher intelligence in us. We are a spiritual, creative being. And so now let's look at the next thing. There are many ways to do life, but what makes a life great or life good is how you feel about it. You see, whatever it is that you choose to do, it really is how you feel. Many people will choose all sorts of different things in their life, but what makes a good life is how you feel about it. Once we establish these first two principles, we can move on to start creating a life that you really want. So think about it. Is it true for you that what makes a great life is how you feel, feel about it? And is it also true to you that you're a spiritual creative being here to experience this body for roughly 100 years? And you know that for sure. So if you think that's true, and if you can uh, hold that premise as, as factual, if what makes a good life is how you feel about it, well, then the next question is, what do you want to feel? Simple, right? Out of everything that we must acknowledge, if your life, what makes it good is how you feel about it, you must choose, well, what do I want to feel? And so once you really sit down and answer that question, what do I actually want to feel? The next thing to consider is, well, what gives me those feelings? What actually gives me those feelings? When you write down what gives you those feelings, the last question to create the most simple life plan you could ever imagine is, how do you structure your week or your life for the maximum chance of those feelings? I'll tell you where I got this from. I was really struggling with what life was about. I'd made great money. I'd you know, got a great relationship. I ticked all the boxes that I thought I needed to tick. And I felt empty. And I was searching and I was wondering. And I was looking at spiritual texts and religious texts and looking at how the world is. And, you know, we worship money out there in society right now. And then others are saying it's about giving and it's about all these things. And what I realized is that at the base of it, we're a spiritual creative being, like really, and we've got 100 years. And everyone has an idea on how to do life. But all of them comes back to this. It's really about what and how you choose to feel. So then you simply ask yourself, well, what would you like to feel? And how do you structure your life to feel that way? This is the most important thing. You see, in our society, it's important. It's how you feel. We're so focused on telling everyone else how they should be, but we've forgotten what's important. So here's some extra thoughts. It doesn't matter how much money you make if either you don't enjoy what you're doing or have no need for the money. So many people are, are focused on, I just want to get more money, more money, more money. But it doesn't matter how much money you make if you don't enjoy it or you have no need for it. Simply chasing more of it for no reason is absolutely trivial. Second, pursuing money as a main objective will lead to a conclusion. It will finish. You'll get to it. I know I did it. But pursuing meaning, pursuing purpose, pursuing the feelings you really want to feel can be a lifelong adventure. So here's the question that I have for you that I posed. How do you make the most amount of money in the smallest amount of time so you can spend the rest of the time of your life on things that do not require money as an objective? It's a good question. So here's a little exercise. Number one, write down what it is that you choose to feel in your life. Two, write down what helps you to feel those feelings. Three, structure your week so that you have a maximum chance of doing the activities, being with the people that allow you to feel those. This is the simplest life plan that you'll ever, ever hear. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Quick, five minute, simple and practical advice. Let me know underneath this video how it landed. Bye for now.